Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Live Split for Genshin Impact Speedrunning. Before we get started, I'm going to need you to do two things. If you don't already have Live Split, I'm going to make sure that you download that. The link would be in the description below to download it. I also need you to join the Genshin Impact Speedrunning Discord as that will have the most up to date load time remover, which you're going to need if you want to set up Genshin Impact for speedrunning. Once you have those, I need you to open Live Split in administrator mode. So I will do that with you right here. LiveSplit.exe, run as administrator. It will pop up a little window. You're going to say yes because you want you want it to be running as administrator. Once it pops up, it may not have the title or anything like that. Since I already have it set up, it is going to have the title. But once you have it, you're going to right click it, click on edit layout. Now that you have the layout editor, all you need to do is press this little plus button, highlight control, and click on the scriptable auto splitter button. With that here, all you have to do is go to layout settings, scriptable auto splitter. Once it shows the script path, you're going to click browse, and the latest load time remover should be one of your most recently downloaded. You can obviously go to any file that you have it downloaded into, but once you have that, you can open it depending on what you want to do with it. If you want it to auto start for you, or if you don't want it to auto start for you, I don't want it to auto start for me, so I'm going to uncheck this box. But after that, click OK, and you're ready to go. That's really it. Now, you're going to make sure that you have Live Split open before you open Genshin Impact. That is very important, because otherwise, Live Split will not work. I don't know why that's the case, but that is all you really is to it. So I can see two. As you can see here, opening Genshin Impact after I already have Live Split activated. It's going to take a second to load, obviously, but that's okay. Now here, I'm just going to show off an example of what the load time remover does. So I have full control of the character right now. If I have the timer started, the timer will be going up until it stops loading when I teleport. For example, if I do this, it stops timing, right? That's all there is to the load time remover. That, that also removes any time that where you force close or your game crashes or anything like that. And I show that off right here. Force closed, the game completely closed, and the timer had stopped as soon as it closed. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you need any more help, let me know in the comments below, or you can ping me in the Discord if you need it. Good luck.